So when we differentiate y equals to e power of x, so we will get same things, e power of x. But if we have y equals to e power of fx, so the derivative of this function is f prime x multiply with e power of fx. Okay, now if we have the questions like a, y equals to e power of 3x plus 4. So this is fx here. Look at here. So we have to differentiate this fx. So it means that 3x plus 4, we differentiate, we will get 3. So dy over dx equals to 3 multiply with e power of fx. Um, the power will remain same. So we get 3 times e power of 3x plus 4. Means that 3 e power of e power of 3x plus 4. Same things. Okay, and then b, we have y equals to 5 e power of negative 3x. So this is fx here. So when we differentiate this fx, so we got negative 3. So dy over dx equals to 5 multiply with negative 3 and then e power of negative 3x. So the power does not change anything. We just differentiate the power first and then Put it back, put it into in the in front to multiply with any constant. So we got five times negative three, we got negative fifteen e power of three negative three x. Okay, this is the answer. Example four, find the derivative of the following function. So we have f x equals to e power of three x times with set two x plus one. So now, we find that e, expo e is an exponential and we have set here where we got two different functions that multiply together. So we assume that it is u and v. So we have to apply product rules. So we got u is e power of 3x and v equals to 2x plus 1 power of 1 over 2 since set is one power of 1 over 2. And then we have to differentiate u and v. So we have u prime equals to 3 e power of 3x. And then v prime equals to, we apply uh, power rules, 1 over 2 times 2x plus 1 power of negative 1 over 2. And then multiply with 2. And then when we simplify, so we will get 2x plus 1 power of, negative 1 over 2 or we can bring it down back as a fraction so we got 1 over set to x plus 1 okay so now we want to find f prime x by using product rules so we have u u v prime plus v u prime so u equals to e power of 3x times u v prime 1 over set 2x plus 1 okay, plus v we have set 2x plus 1 multiply with u prime u prime is 3 e power of 3x okay now we need to simplify so here we have the same things or the common factor here is e power of 3x and also we got 2x plus 1 because of one is a in terms of fraction and another one don't have any fraction so we have to make this as a fraction as well so let's say we bring out first e power of 3x so we put back 1 over set 2x plus 1 okay plus with we got 3 here 3 set 2x plus 1 so it's actually the things that ha don't have any fraction form here 
will be over 1 so because of we have to make sure because of we need to simplify this so we have to make this as a fraction so we have to uh, equal equate the denominator so we have to multiply with set 2x plus 1 here and because of we multiply with set 2x plus 1 at denominator so we have to multiply as well for the numerator 2x plus 1 so it becomes the power of 3x so we have 1 over set 2x plus 1 plus so what happens when we multiply the same things twice so it becomes power of 1 because of set is 1 over 2 and so we we already learned when we have a power of m multiply with a power of n so the power is add up m plus n same things here where 2x plus 1 is a and the power is 1 over 2 so 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 it equals to 1 so 2x plus 1 power of 1 over so 2x plus 1 so now the denominator is already same so we can put it on the on just one fraction so we will have e power of 3x in the bracket we have 1 plus 3 times 2x plus 1 is Okay, when we expand this, so we got 6x plus 3 over set 2x plus 1. Okay, and then when we simplify this, so we got 4 plus 6x. So... So 4 plus 6x over set 2x plus 1. Okay, now we can uh, factorize again. 4 and 6, we have a common factor of 2. So we can bring up 2. So it becomes 2e power of 3x multiplied back with 2 plus 3x over set so 2x plus 1 so this is the answer or b so we have fx equals to e power of 2x over 1 plus e power of x so we have to apply quotient rules so we got u over v here so bring out what is u e power of 2x and then v equals to 1 plus e power of x then find u prime so we got 2 e power of 2x and then v prime equals to e power of x and then we apply quotient rule so we know that quotient rule dy over dx equals to v u prime minus u v prime over v squared so we use this rules to solve this problem so find f prime x for the first derivative so v is 1 plus e power of x times u prime 2 times e 2x minus with u e power of 2x times v prime e power of x then over v squared so we got 1 plus e power of x power of 2 ok and then Either we can factorize or expand to solve this problem or to simplify it. So I choose to expand. So we have 2e power of 2x plus when we multiply 2e power of 2x times with e power of x. So the power must be added up by using indices rules. 
So 2 e power of 3x minus e power of 3x over 1 plus e power of x power of 2. Okay, then because of this is the same power and the same base. So we just can minus. So it give you 2 e power of 2x plus e power of 3x over 1 plus e power of x power of 2 and then we can factorize by looking at the lowest power which is e power of 2x okay and then multiply back with 2 plus with e power of x and then over 1 plus e power of x power of 2 so this is the last answer